I was uh, 17, I was actually really considering entering the seminary. I had attended a retreat in uh, University of Notre Dame because that's where I was hoping to go to school and I, I just fell in love with the Catholic Church and experienced uh, a moment in uh, the sacrament of confession and reconciliation where I was just in total awe and if I could um, supply the love that I had been received and I can go into that a little deeper later but uh, then my life would have meant something. There are moments in your life no matter who you are where you're going to be vulnerable. You're going to be vulnerable in terms of um, realizing that the, that the world is not all about you and uh, it can be very hurtful but at the same time in my upbringing I was always taught in those moments of vulnerability go to prayer and prayer was absolutely just a wonderful thing for me. One of the biggest holdups of you know proclaiming my uh, vocation has been uh, I was afraid I'd have to be a monk, <laughs> you know, just is just someone who uh, stays by himself and doesn't really, you know, um, allow himself to be, remain himself. If that means any sense, yeah. So that's been a great piece of advice. And just I also ask you know, seminarians, especially, you know, how they uh, adapted to seminary life and you know how their friends have adapted. And each and every one of them has given me some great answers. We're seeing priests, you know, social media is, is a wonderful thing, it can be a horrible thing, but in, in our case, it's been a wonderful thing for me to see such young priests, you know, active in their faith and, and professing, using the platforms that the world has today to just promote God. And I think the youth, the, the Catholic youth are, are taking notice. And I, I would hope to see 20 seminarians from Knoxville pretty soon. And, you know, uh, another thing I could touch on, if, if this is going to be uh, going towards uh, the vocations and other people who are discerning the call are, are seeing this, I'd say, you know, just be active, you know, don't be so passive. Don't, uh, don't just kind of pitter patter. If you, to discern is to be active. Uh, that's something that another seminarian told me today. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, I am hopeful for our diocese.